Welcome back to part 5, I think it's part 5, of, of the Zorky 1 CLA. Well, um, it's finally as close as, I don't know, as close as it gets to being okay. Um, and that means... That means that the second curtain, when uh, the shutter is stripped on B, is almost flush to the right uh, edge of the film gate, and the first curtain is just as flush as the second one. <clears throat> so this is pretty much the smallest possible gap between the curtains. Anything um, smaller than this would mean that either one or the other curtain would be inside the film gate um, at one given time. The curtain has been re-glued, the ribbons have been re-glued, so this is it. I'm not taking it apart anymore. I will replace the screws, so this is the long one, and I also have a missing screw here. Now I will try to install this one, it's uh, also a longer screw, and see if I, get, if I can get the top plate back on. Okay. Where is it? Here it is. Well, I can actually put it back. So that means the screw is just in front of this. <coughs> Well, that's good news, because I can leave it there. Uh, and that means I'll only have to replace this one. This is the law. No, actually, I could also leave that one in place, because it's obviously not impeding with the top plate. All right. Well, I'm done with this part. Actually, no. I will replace this one because I don't like how it looks. Unfortunately, it's the wrong screw. So, out it goes. Then the other option would be to shorten this one. Of course, the other option, the third option, would be to just leave it as it is because it will not be visible once the top plate is in position. <clears throat> That's less important right now. Um, the tension on the shutter, on the, on the curtains, is pretty much what I mentioned last time. 
so just a bit under two full turns for the second curtain and three full turns for the first curtain the first one is um, too snappy I would say while the second one is maybe a bit a bit lazy so I have to adjust um, to adjust the curtains even more <clears throat> otherwise it's looking fine and um, all I have to do now is get everything back together and of course um, make the adjustments I will also need to adjust this screw because these two are different I thought I stole them from the same camera but I might be wrong this one has a smaller diameter on the head than this one and because this is too big it sits a bit canted and that also means it can ruin the threads um, but otherwise it's looking good okay um, I'll add a couple more parts to this probably this is the last video of the series um, I don't know what else I might add to be useful um, and most likely it will remain a work in progress because I still need to find a solution for the missing um, key I also need to see what I can do about this because this will break off um, maybe maybe I will order a replacement leatherette although they are quite expensive <coughs> I don't know twenty dollars piece something like that um, or I could try to make one I could try to make one from I don't know real leather maybe source some some leather from somewhere because it needs to be quite thick I think this is pretty much one millimeter in thickness 0 0.8 now it's closer to one so it's a one millimeter thick leather red it would be quite easy to replace it I only need to make a round cutout here round cutout for the lens mount for perforations for the screws and that's about it I could also try something else since the four screws that I have are clearly the wrong screws I mean two of them are cross heads and the other two don't match each other so something is not okay there I could use some um, cross heads and cut the leather from one piece without holes so get everything back together put the screws and then glue the leather right on top it would be uh, a bit weird meaning that in order to open the camera you need to peel off the leather but I don't know it could be an option all right um, yeah that's about it for the first part of the last video of the series